Today we check out a mod that adds wyverns and more to your island and we play with fire. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to jump into an Arc Ascended Mod Spotlight. I'm TVF Gaming here on the channel. We do Let's Plays, tutorials, spotlights, and if we were paid by how fast I talk, I'd have tens of dollars by now. We also learned today that I'm not big enough to sit in the big boy chair, so that's a thing. Before we get started today, I want to say real quick thank you to everyone that's joined the channel over the last couple of months. The end of the year goal was 20,000 subs. You guys blew that away. We hit 21 and we're on our way to 22. I don't think we can make 22 by the end of the year, but heck it, let's try it. Hopefully we can make it there. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below anything you want to see for future videos from Mod Spotlights. I do write all of those down. I read all comments and I make sure I get everything listed into a nice little Excel sheet so we can do those in the future. So thank you so much for all the comments and let me know what other mods are out there. You guys help out a lot. Today's Mod Spotlight is going to check out a really cool mod that adds wyverns and more. This mod is crossplay and the mod developer AVE Av, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, Av has done a really great job with this mod. They've done a good job of making sure that it's updated and it hasn't really crashed anything recently. Like I've been playing with it both on Xbox and PC and not really had a problem with it. I also installed it on my test server and it spawns really well across the island. What's really nice is a lot of these dino mods, it takes them a while to get their spawns just right. This one actually does pretty good about having the different spawns all across the map. So I really enjoyed seeing that. There was actually a, a friendly dragon right across the way from us just a little bit ago. Now, as we alluded to, the name of this mod is Draconic Chronicles. It is a mod that aims to add more draconic creatures and structures into the base arc. And their aim is to keep the weapons and structures and creatures all as balanced as possible. So it is balanced around vanilla, but obviously, you know, wyverns are pretty powerful. So that is a thing. Let's go ahead and quickly check out some of the stuff here in the mod. You guys know how we do. I just do kind of like an informal run through of some of the things. We don't fully test it out. This is a mod spotlight, not a guide, but we do try to set you up with a little bit of information or knowledge about the mod if you want to see more about it we can definitely do more of a deep dive or we can do a playthrough with it in the future but let's go ahead and check it out these are the structures over here i'm always excited when i jump into a mod and i see that there's more than just that initial stuff like i looked at the mod i was like oh there's some cool wyverns in here that's really cool but there's also some really cool structures that i really enjoy seeing and they've really thought through this mod really well so excited to check this out let's go ahead and look at it obviously this is just a throne which is way too tall for my poor little short guy this is your first thing is dr draconic shrine this is where you make a lot of your stuff some of the Saddles, boom, and all of the structures. There's quite a few structures in this one, and they are... Yeah, man, they've all got pretty decent crafting recipes. We were looking at it. The egg incubator is huge. But this is the shrine. This is where you make a bunch of the structures and the saddles. This one over here is the egg incubator. It does require electricity. I don't have it powered up right now, but you can drop your eggs next to this, and it'll hatch them for you. Absolutely awesome. I love the egg incubator. Plus, it's just a cool model. Really cool looking. Next one is the Draconic Cauldron. This is where you make all your healing potions and your different potions to actually tame the dragons. They all have different taming requirements. Some of them need these little essence things. We've got Sand Draconic Essence, Draconic Essence. This one is Pure Draconic Essence, and this is Chaotic Draconic Essence. And the last one is Rejuvenating Draconic Essence. If you want to see which one is for which, definitely go to their Discord and check that out. They did a great job in their Discord laying all that stuff out to include spawn codes and stuff, so go check that out for sure. Next one is the Draconic Obsidian Fridge. Check out the... I hope you guys can see that. It's kind of moving. It looks really good. It's one of the better models I've seen. I like that a lot. I hope they add that to some other stuff. Although I imagine this is probably... Probably adds to the either the file size or even to difficulty for servers if you had a bunch of these going. I don't know. It just looks really cool. And then, of course, they have their own little Obsidian Vault. Uh, this one's pretty cool because it's got... 350 slots in it they've got their draconic fabricator and then they have their draconic forge so absolutely awesome oh got a little noise back there now let's go ahead and check out the wyverns dragons whatever you want to call them real quick there's quite a few of them of course you have your like your base ones that you guys have seen in old school arc nothing new here we've got our crystal wyvern we've got the ember crystal wyvern the tropical crystal wyvern and then we've got our lightning wyvern over here, we've got the Poison Wyvern, the Fire Wyvern, the Ice Wyvern, and then the Blood Crystal Wyvern. So that's all of the old school Wyverns that you guys have seen plenty of. The newer ones are the really cool ones that I was interested in. This little guy is the Sand Dragon. Look at this guy. I think they have really cool models. Look at that. That is epic. That is pretty cool. I'm going to have to get some really cool screenshots with these guys. Really well done. Flying is pretty smooth. Awesome. So that's the little sand dragon. This guy right here is the Inferno Wyvern. Look at this guy. He's got some cool effects coming off of him. Look at this. That is pretty epic. I'm going to have to figure out how to get a good screenshot of one of these guys. Okay, I, I do need to check out a couple of their attacks. I don't really usually check out attacks in these spotlights because we're just jumping in to check it out. But I do want to see 
a couple of these guys what they do. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't know it did that effect on this. Wow. That might be just an ASA thing, but that's cool. Oh, we hit something. Are we hitting our own guys? Oh, no. Am I, am I doing friendly fire? Oh, we are. Okay, don't kill your own buddies, dude. Stop it. <laughs> oh, no. The rest of my wyverns are on fire. It's fine. This one is the rejuvenating wyvern. Oh, this is cool looking. I think this one is also a friendly wyvern. I didn't read all the descriptions on it because we just kind of want to jump in and check it out. And I definitely want to play with it in the future. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. Check, do it again. Do it again. Oh, we got a cool down. Also, if you look really closely, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like little butterflies flying around this guy. That is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get down with this guy. That's the rejuvenating wyvern. And then that's all of them, right? Oh, and then it got the... No, that's the little guy. I think that's all of them. This one, I think, is the friendly wyvern that won't attack you. Same with, like, the crystal wyverns, kind of like back on Crystal Isles back in the day. All right, and then the big guy, the polar dragon. This guy, from what I was looking at, does have a special saddle. Let me see. Polar. Yeah, polar dragon platform saddle. I think I can craft it real quick. Let me see. Platform. I would love to have a big old platform saddle with this guy. Polar platform saddle. Boom. All right. What's up, big dude? This dude, this, look at the the skin on this guy is sweet. All right. And we can ride it without a saddle, but we throw a saddle on it. Now we have that big old platform saddle. Boom. Oh, I can't get up to it, though. Oh, we would need a ladder to get up there. This guy is huge. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> but there you go. This guy is massive. Let's go ahead and check out what he does. Left click. Right click. Nothing. C button. Oh. Okay. X button. Control. Let's see if we do anything while we're airborne. No, nope. he is just massive. Oh, he is shooting something with the C button. Okay. I don't know what button that would be. I think, is that like, uh, I think it's like left, left mouse or left bumper or right bumper. No, left thumbstick or right thumbstick on the Xbox. All right, dude, this dude is huge. Let me go check this out. So if you go look at some of these guys while they're out there, it'll tell you down there with our spyglass that we're using, which, by the way, you can see down there is the super spyglass by Kavan. Really good spyglass, but it tells you what they need. That guy needs a rejuvenating essence. That guy down there needs the sand draconic essence. But you can see just in my little area right here on single player, they're spawning all over the place. So this mod does a pretty good job with spawns. They definitely do a good job with that because that's something that's really hard for modders to do. They got to get into all the little spawning things, and, and it's a lot of work, man. So huge shout out to all the mod developers that take time to do that. But there you go, man. Not too much into this one because it, it's just it's dragons and wyverns, man. It's, it's pretty simple to get into to kind of show you guys what's in this one. But definitely want to show them all off. I think the skins and textures are awesome. And it adds all these onto the island, which is always great. And then you can see them right there. Wild ones flying around right there. Very, very cool. Huge shout out to the mod developer. Make sure you go check out their Discord. As you guys know, all these mods are really works in progress. We're still learning how to bring mods to both PC and to console for ASA, so it's been really cool to see that. I can't wait to be able to test this out on PS5 in the future. I'll make sure I test that out in the future as well. But I really do appreciate you guys joining me for this video. We will have more solo mod spotlights as well as each one of these mods is going to end up in a YouTube short for now on. We're going to start recording both the full video and then cutting it down to a YouTube short. So I'll be putting out both of those. If you guys want to see more like short, short content, that should help out a little bit as well. We just want to get these mods out there, make sure the mod developers get a little bit of love. But anyways, this outro is getting a little bit long-winded. Thank you so much for the support. Huge shout out to the pages to make this channel possible. We've made it to the end of the video, my MVP, and I appreciate you. Whatever you guys want to see in the future videos, put it in the comments down below. That's it. Okay, we got to get out of here.